I think this is one of the most fascinating developments of the 21st century, that science, in fact, is taking <clears throat> a virtue like compassion definitively out of the realm of idealism. Uh, this is going to change science, I believe, and it will change religion. But here's a face from 20th century science that might surprise you in a discussion about compassion. We all know about the Albert Einstein who came up with E equals MC squared. We don't hear so much about the Einstein who invited the African-American opera singer Marian Anderson to stay in his home when she came to sing in Princeton because the best hotel there was segregated and wouldn't have her. We don't hear about the Einstein who used his celebrity to advocate for political prisoners in Europe or the Scottsboro Boys in the American South. Einstein believed deeply that science should transcend national and ethnic divisions. But he watched physicists and chemists become the purveyors of weapons of mass destruction in the early 20th century. He once said that science in his generation had become like a razor blade in the hands of a three-year-old. And Einstein foresaw that as we grow more modern and technologically advanced, we need the virtues our traditions carry forward in time more, not less. He liked to talk about the spiritual geniuses of the ages. Uh, some of his favorites were Moses, Jesus, Buddha, St. Francis of Assisi, Gandhi. He adored his contemporary Gandhi. And Einstein said, and I think this is a quote, again, that has not been passed down in his legacy, that these kinds of people are geniuses in the art of living, more necessary to the dignity, security, and joy of humanity than the discoverers of objective knowledge.